coming up, it's the high school quiz show semifinals, and we've got Lexington High School here. <laughs> Taking on Belmont High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and we are down to the final teams. The winner of today's semifinal match will head to the 2016 High School Quiz Show Finals. And today's matchup has Belmont High School taking on Lexington High School. Let's get right to it and meet the teams. On the Belmont team, we have Sam, Rahul, Kevin, and Lania. And the alternates are Anna and Eva. The coach, of course, is Stacy Williams. Nice round of applause. <laughs> From Lexington High School, we have Ravi, Colin, Devin, and Krishna. The coaches, Carrie Darling and Bill Cole. How about a nice round of applause? Lexington High School. As always, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We always start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, good luck. Here we go. What country in Asia is known as the land of the rising sun? Krishna. Japan. Yes. The binary system used by computers consists of what two digits? Yes, Krishna. Zero and one. Yes. Uh, what 1962 novel ends with Chief Bromden telling the reader, I've been away a long time? Devin. Um, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yes. Headlines from around the world titled Planet Earth is Blue paid tribute to what British music icon who passed away in January 2016 at the age of 69? Yes, Krishna. David Bowie. Yes. Uh, take a look at your screens. You will see a picture. Slave ship, also called slavers, throwing overboard the dead and dying. Typhoon coming on is a famous work by what English landscape painter? Yes, Devin. J.M.W. Turner. That is correct. What former slave was one of the greatest inventors in American history, discovering over 300 uses for peanuts and developing a new method of crop rotation? Yes, Krishna. George Washington Carver. Yes. In December 2015, what presidential candidate called for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States? Yes, Rahul. Trump. Donald Trump is right. Located in the Andes on the border between Peru and Bolivia. What is the world's highest navigable lake? Yes, Rahul. Titicaca. Yes. And take a look at your screens. Here comes a video question. Hi, I'm Jim Pizer, Secretary of Education for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Here's my question. In 1837 in Massachusetts, what education reformer became the first American to advocate for free public education for all students? Devin. Horace Mann. That is correct. Spike Lee's new film, Chirac, is a modern adaptation of what anti-war comedy by Aristophanes? Yes, Colin. Lysistrata. Yes, on August 5th, 1620, uh, the Pilgrims set sail for America from Southampton, England, on the Mayflower. And what other ship that began to leak and was forced to turn back? Yes, Colin. Speedwell. Yes. Jonathan Larson based his musical rent on what tragic opera by Puccini? Devin. La Bohème. That is correct. Which of the following is an example of a polar molecule? Is it A, gasoline, B, water, or C, helium? Colin. B water. Yes. Math question. What is the mean value of four neckties that cost $16, $20, $12, and $24? Yes, 
Robbie, $18. Yes, what a Renaissance architect designed the dome of Florence's Cathedral of Santa Maria del Friore, also known as the Duomo. Colin. Brunelleschi. Yes. Uh, from the Greek, meaning light and turn. What term refers to the bending of a plant toward the direction of its light source? Colin. Phototropism. Yes. Uh, set in a Latino neighborhood in Chicago, the house on Mango Street is one of the best-known novels of what author? Rahul. Cisneros. Yes. And uh, take a look at the screens. Here comes your next video question right now. Hi, I'm Maura Healy, Attorney General of Massachusetts. Here's my question. What American lawyer who saved Leopold and Loeb from the death penalty in 1924 was also the defense attorney in the Scopes trial in 1925? Colin. Clarence Darrow. That's correct. Uh, the meeting house of the ancient Roman Senate was called which of the following? Was it A, the Pantheon, B, the Forum, or C, the Curia? Yes, Devin. B, the Forum. No, Belmont, you want to try. Yes, Sam? The Curium? Yes. Uh, what city located at an elevation of 11,975 feet is the capital of Tibet? Rahu. Lhasa. Yes. Uh, Nick Offerman recently starred as Ignatius J. Riley in a Boston production of what Pulitzer Prize winning novel by John Kennedy Toole? Yes, Colin. The Confederacy of Dunces. Yes. Literally meaning porous bones, what common metabolic bone disease is characterized by the thinning of the bones? Yes, Linnea. Osteoporosis. Yes. Math question, what is the derivative of x squared? Yes, Robbie. 2x. Okay. Uh, what mountain in Canada's Yukon Territory is the second highest peak in North America after Denali? Mount Logan is the answer. Uh, citing concerns about head trauma and his future health, uh, what San Francisco 49ers linebacker retired from the NFL in 2015 at age 24? Robbie. Navarro Bowman. No, Belmont, you want to try? Uh, Chris Borland is the answer. Uh, German for air weapon. What was the name of the German Air Force during World War II? Yes, Devin. Luftwaffe. Yes. Uh, during the Islamic Re Revolution of 1979, uh, the Shah was overthrown as the leader of what country? Uh, Devin. Iran. Yes. Uh, what public holiday observed in Suffolk County, Massachusetts, commemorates March 17th, 1776, when occupying British troops left Boston during the Revolutionary War? Uh, Devin. Evacuation day? Yes. With an elevation of about 7,000 feet, what is the highest state capital in the United States? Uh, Devin. Denver. No. Belmont? Yes, Sam. Santa Fe. Yes. Flight speed from Mach 1 to Mach 5 is generally classified as supersonic. Flight speed from Mach 5 to Mach 10 is generally classified as what? Uh, Colin. Hypersonic. Yes. Uh, written by a young Willie Nelson, the song Crazy became a major hit for what country star who died in a plane crash in 1963 at the age of 30? Yes, Devin. Bob Marley. No, Belmont, you want to try? Rahul. Holly. No, Patsy Klein is the answer. After the Nile and the Congo, what is the third longest river in Africa? Ravi. Zambezi. No, Belmont. Rahul. Limpopo. No, the Niger. The Niger. Uh, what 1968 science fiction film directed by Stanley Kubrick had the working title, How the Solar System Was Won? Yes. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yes. Ruled by the dictator Nikolai Ceausescu from 1965 to 1989, what was the only Eastern Bloc country to violently overthrow its government and execute its leader? Yes, Colin. Romania? Yes. Uh, what inlet of the Black Sea is the shallowest sea in the world? Rahul. Sea of Azov? Yes. Upon signing the Declaration of Independence, uh, what founding father famously said, we must all hang together or most assuredly we will all hang separately? Yes, Kevin. Franklin? Yes. In 1701, what British agricultural pioneer perfected a method of sowing seeds with a drill rather than scattering them by hand? Yes, Rahul. Townsend? No, Lexington? Jethro Tull. Oh, and there's the bell. 
ending the first round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 90 points. Lexington High School, 230 points. Let's get a nice round of applause, everybody. All right, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a minute to find out about our players and their academic interests, their extracurricular activities. Uh, uh, Belmont High School, we're going to start with you. Sam, how about it? I'm a senior. Uh, I'm interested in computer science, and I'm captain of my school's improv troupe. Good for you. Rahul? Uh, I'm a senior. I'm interested in materials engineering, and I play for the school tennis team. Nice. Kevin? I'm a senior. My favorite subject this year is chemistry, and I'm captain of the science team. All right. Lania? I'm a senior this year. I really like food science, and I'm a president of my school's Model UN team. Oh my goodness, all right, Lexington High School, Robbie. I'm a junior, I like math and history, and I like to play soccer. And Colin? I'm a junior, I like history, and I'm an editor for the school newspaper. Good for you, Devin? Um, I'm a senior, uh, my favorite subject is history, and uh, I like to play piano at type of school. Nice, and finally, Krishna? I'm a junior, I like history and biology, and I play for my school's tennis team. All right, ooh, a couple of tennis players on the court here. Uh, all right, here's the way we're going to do it. You know this by now. One member from each team will come forward and go head-to-head. -head. So Belmont High School, who's it going to be? Rahul and Lexington High and Colin. So Rahul, Colin, it's time to do it again head-to-head. -head. Come on down. All right, we are about to go head-to-head. -head. I've got Colin from Lexington High on my left, or Rahul on my right from Belmont High. Guys, uh, shake hands. Why not? Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you do get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. Good luck, fellas. The clock is set at 90 seconds, and here we go. What book by Charles Dickens has a character named Tiny Tim? Uh, Christmas Carol. Yes. In 1508, what artist was commissioned to paint the ceiling of the Sistine? Michelangelo. Yes. Which two planets in the solar system have the most moons? Uh, Jupiter and Saturn. Yes. What British author wrote the novels Kim and Captain? Rudyard Kipling. Yes. The Han River is one of the most important tributaries. Yangtze. Yes. In Arthurian legend, King Arthur had the help and the advice of what powerful wizard? Merlin. Yes. Uh, what phase change occurs when a substance changes from a solid directly? Uh, sublimation. Yes. In Herman Melville's novel, Moby Dick, what's the name of Captain Ahab's? Pequod. Yes. The U.S. Constitution has how many articles? Three. No, seven. Uh, between 1947 and 1956, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in caves. Israel. Yes. What Greek philosopher encouraged a moral behavior called the golden mean? Yes. Uh, Aristotle. Yes, what's the capital city of Lebanon? Yes. Beirut. <laughs> okay. Uh, who wrote the words to the battle hymn of the Republic? Yes. Oh, man, Jackson. No, Julia Ward Howe. Uh, the Grand Canyon in Arizona was formed by the rapid... Colorado River. Yes, what holiday that dates from 1966 means first fruits? Kwanzaa. Yes, in 1958, what communist country began, be began an economic plan called the Great Leap? China. Yes, what Greek dramatist wrote Oedipus Rex? Sophocles. Yes, name the capital city of Liechtenstein. Vaduz. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gets it. The judges say he got it. All right, the score right now, Belmont High School, 120 points. Lexington High School, 340 points. Let's hear it. Raul, you okay? How's your hand? All right, Colin, go back to your team. Let's go. All right, next up is the category round with the following categories. Willpower, Mothers of Invention, Econ 101, Fun with Numbers, Vote Early and Often, and He Shoots, He Scores. Each category has five questions with increasing point values and players. You can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Now, Belmont High, you've got some ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Willpower. All right. Uh, willpower, questions about the works of William Shakespeare. And for 10 points, when shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? These are the opening lines of what Shakespeare tragedy? Uh, Krishna? Macbeth. Yes, and now you've got the board. Lexington, Captain. Fun with numbers, please. 
fun with the numbers? Questions. This is a new category. Questions about math and for 10 points. In statistics, the middle value of an ordered set of values is called which of the following? A, the median, B, the mode, or C, the mean? Yes, Krishna. A, the median. Yes, you've still got the board, Lexington. Let's keep going. Fun with the numbers for 15 points. What is the complement of an angle that measures 23 degrees? Yes, Devin. 67 degrees. That is correct. And you've still got control. Stay with it. Fun with numbers for 20 points. How is the year 2016 expressed in Roman numerals? Yes, Devin. M-M-X-B-I. That is correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. Stay with Fun it. Fun with numbers for 25 points. Uh, sand flows into a barrel at 6 ounces per minute and drains out at 2 ounces per minute. The barrel holds 180 ounces. How many minutes does it take to fill the barrel? Kevin. 45. That's correct. Belmont, you've got the board. Uh, willpower. Uh, this time for 15 points. Uh, what Shakespeare character says, what a piece of work is man? How noble in reason, how infinite in faculty. Yes, Kevin. Hamlet. That's correct. You've still got the board, Belmont. Uh, keep going. Uh, willpower for 20 points. Which character from Julius Caesar says, I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him? Yes, Devin. Mark Anthony. That's correct. Lexington, you've got the board Follow back. Follow numbers for 30. For 30 points. A rectangular field is three times as long as it is wide. The area of the field is 75 square meters. What is the perimeter of the field in meters? Yes, Devin. Oh, um, 64. <laughs> uh, no, Belmont High. Yes, Kevin. 40. 40 is correct. You've got the board back, Belmont. A willpower. Willpower for 25 points. The Shakespeare sonnet that begins, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, is known as which of the following? A, sonnet 1, B, sonnet 18, C, sonnet 23. Yes, Colin. B. B, sonnet 18 is right. And now, Lexington, you've got the board. He shoots, he scores. He shoots, he scores. New category, questions about ice hockey. For 10 points, what hockey legend nicknamed the great one is the NHL's all-time leading scorer? Yes, Rahul. Gretzky. Yes, and now Belmont gets it back. Willpower. Going back to willpower for 30 points. As a storm beats down on him, what tragic king describes himself as a man more sinned against than sinning? Yes, Sam. Lear. King Lear is right. Belmont, you've got the board. Category, new one. Mothers of Invention. Mothers of Invention, questions about women inventors. And for 10 points, in 1857, what English founder of modern nursing invented a new kind of pie chart that helped disprove uh, the medical assumptions of her day? Yes, Krishna. Florence Nightingale. Correct. Lexington, you've got the board back. He shoots, he scores. He shoots, he scores for 15 points. Uh, according to the NHL rule book, each hockey team is allowed to have how many players on the ice at one time? Yes, Colin. Six. Six is right. Lexington, you've got it. He shoots, he scores for 20. Uh, for 20. On March 3rd, 1875, the first indoor ice hockey game was played by McGill University students in what North American city? Yes, Colin. Montreal. Montreal, you've got it. He Lex shoots, he scores for 25, please. Uh, okay. Uh, the Boston Bruins last won the Stanley Cup championship of June of what year? Yes, Kevin. 2011. That's correct. Belmont's got the board. Mother's invention. Mothers of Invention for 15 points. In uh, 1951, American Secretary Betty Nesmith Graham invented whiteout correction fluid. She originally named it Mistake Out, but later changed its name to what? Yes, Linnea. Whiteout? No, Lexington, you want to try? Liquid paper is the answer there, but Belmont, you've still got the board. Mothers of Invention. This time for 20 points. During World War II, computer programmer Grace Hopper invented a compiler that was a precursor to what popular programming language designed in 1959? Yes, Krishna. Basic. No, Belmont High, you want to try? COBOL is the answer there. Uh, you've still got the board, Belmont. Mothers of Invention. Well, we're going to stay there for 25 points. In 1963, what American chemist invented Kevlar, an ultra-strong material used in bulletproof vests? Yes, Colin. Stephanie Kwolek. Correct. Lexington, you've got the board back. He shoots, he scores. Okay, 30 points at stake. Often ranked among the best sports films of all time. What 1977 comedy starring Paul Newman is about a hapless hockey team? 
Yes, slap Colin. shot. Slap shot. Yes. Uh, you've got a category. Mothers of a mention for thirty. For thirty points. In the 1940s, what famous film star invented spread spectrum technology, which became the basis for satellite communications and cell phones? Hedy Lamar is the answer. Lexington, you've still got the board category. Vote for 10. Vote early and often is a new category. Questions about U.S. presidential campaign slogans. For 10 points, though originally meant just for campaign workers, the phrase, it's the economy, stupid, became the de facto slogan for what presidential candidate in 1992? Yes, Colin. Uh, George H.W. Bush. No, Belmont, you want to try? Bill Clinton, the answer there. Lexington, category? Stay with it. Vote early and often for 15 points. The phrase, a chicken in every pot and a car in every garage, is associated with the 1928 campaign of what Republican nominee? <laughs> Colin. Herbert Hoover. Correct. And you've still got control. Vote early and often for 20, please. 20 points. In 1964, Republican Barry Goldwater ran with the slogan, uh, in your heart, you know he's right. What Democratic opponent spoofed this with in your guts, you know he's nuts? Yes, Robbie. Johnson. Yes. You've still got it, Lexington. Stay with it for 25. Okay. Tip a canoe and Tyler 2 is a very popular and influential campaign song used by what Whig Party candidate in 1840? Krishna. William Henry Harrison. That is correct. Category? Let's finish it up, please. 30 points at stake. Who ran for president on a platform of taking control over the entire Oregon Territory using the slogan, 54, 40, or fight? Robbie. James K. Polk. That is correct. You've only got one category left, Econ 101. It's a new category. Questions about economics for 10 points. Created by Congress in 1913, what central banking system of the United States is responsible for setting monetary policy? Yes, Robbie. Federal Reserve. Yes. Uh, this time for 15 points. Uh, if interest rates rise, which of the following will typically happen to bond prices? They will A, rise, B, fall, or C, stay the same. Yes, Devin. That fall. Fall is correct. Uh, this time, uh, Econ 101 for 20 points. Uh, the invisible hand of the market is a metaphor to describe the self-regulating behavior of the marketplace. Who coined this phrase in his 1776 book, The Wealth of Nations? Yes, Sam. Smith. Yes, Adam Smith. Uh, this time, 25 points. What author of the general theory of employment, interest, and money advocated government-sponsored employment to combat economic recession, a policy adopted by FDR? Yes, Rahul. Keynes. Yes, that is right. And one more. Oh, I wanted to get that final question in. Uh, but that does end the category round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 285 points. Lexington High School, 595 points. Let's do it, folks. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points, teams. The clock is set. Good luck, and here we go. In 2015, the Parliament of Catalonia approved a plan to secede from what country? Yes, Rahul? Spain. Yes. What Roman goddess of wisdom and the arts? Minerva. Yes. Uh, the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, popularly known as the Blue Mosque, is located... Yes. Uh, Istanbul. Yes. Uh, a molecule of methane has how many atoms of high... Yes. Four. Yes. In 1981, what present-day country in Central America gained independence from Great Britain? Yes, Colin. Belize. Yes. Uh, the Northern Cross constellation is also known by what Latin name meaning swan? Yes, Devin. Cygnus. Yes. According to Forbes magazine, the most highly paid actress of 2015 was what Hunger Games star? Yes, Colin. Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. In taxonomy, what major category lies between domain and phylum? Yes, Kingdom. Colin. Yes, the Al Jazeera television network is owned by the government. Yes. Guitar. Yes. Uh, what does the letter A stand for in the treaty organization known as NATO? Yes. Atlantic. Yes. The earbone called the Malleus has what common name? Yes. Drum. Kevin? Drum. No, the hammer. In 2015, what Massachusetts author released After Alice, a new take on Alice's adventures in Wonderland? Gregory McGuire. 
What is the Spanish name for the Mexican holiday known in English as the 5th of May? Yes? Cinco de Mayo. Yes. What U.S. Senator from Wisconsin was notorious? Yes. McCarthy. Yes. Uh, what renowned tenor saxophonist in Count Basie's orchestra? Yes, Devin. Coltrane. The answer would have been Lester Young. The winner of this semifinal matchup, Lexington High School with 700. 75 points. The runner-up this week, great job, Belmont High School, total score of 305 points. That was a great journey, but now Lexington High School will move on to the finals and take on Advanced Math and Science Academy. Congratulations to both teams. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week on High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Safety insurance. Sometimes you need additional protection, especially when it comes to auto, home, and business insurance. You can ask an independent agent about enhanced coverage from safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. production of WGBH.